What is up, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna to be showcasing some more awesome modification products, and this one I'm super excited about. I This just brings me back to what everything I've been doing is for and why I love modding in the first place. Taking something, adding it to something else, and creating your own image, and this is super exciting. I know this has been done before, but I just love the concept of them selling this product, you attaching it to another product. Ah, it just gives me the, the heebie-jeebies. I love it, I love it. The good heebie-jeebies. But enough of my nonsense. Today, I'm gonna to be showcasing these Ram lights. Um, super, super awesome product. Link down below as always. I'm gonna show you how these work, what these are, and how to install these. Um, first off, I'm gonna show you what exactly they are. These are the glowing Ram lights. Um, I'm gonna be upgrading my Laramie Ram here. Um, I have already have an aftermarket grill, and I'm gonna be adding these lights to them. These are not the chrome, these are glowing, and the light that they will be emitting is white. Um, I didn't want to go with any colors. That's a right now. I just like the ice white. I'm going to be running these as DRLs. I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'll also explain like if you wanted to run them as your headlights. So you turn your headlights on, these turn on, um, you know, as well as your headlights, obviously not going to light the road up, but just the power on with the headlights. I'll be doing mine with the ignition. So they'll be like DRLs in a sense to go with the aftermarket headlights that I'll be getting as well. Um, showcasing the product here. Uh, every letter is the same. Some quality stitched up wiring, um, super, super nice for somebody who's very uh, beginner level at wiring. This right here is prolonging the life of your product extremely well. Um, with some quick adapt wires, uh, wire harnesses here. Again, just an amazing thing that they did for the buyer, us, because what this will allow you to do is if you ever need to take your grill off for any reason, um, say you wanna upgrade your grill or anything like that, or just need to take it off to access some things to fix under the hood, You'll be able to just twist off um, right here. This is gonna be your connector. You just twist that off and then those will be free hanging and your wires will be free hanging. It, it's just a, a very, very smart design and I love that a lot about them. Like I said, every letter is exactly the same and just very, very, very nice of them. Coming over here, you're gonna see the power harness. Again, you'll have on your power harness, if I dangle it out here, You'll have your three connectors that will go to each letter. And at the other end, as it gets broken into a single wire, you'll have your positive and your ground um, with some quick adapt wires here. I'll be cutting and splicing and adding extra and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing and exactly where I'm going. Um, if you see on the back of every letter, it has four screw slots. Here are your little washer, buffer, you know, mounting plates, whatever you wanna call them with screws. I'll break down why you use these and uh, everything in between. Showcasing what I'll be doing here is my original grill. I'll be adding them to this grill here. So um, going from the Laramie grill, you know, very nice. I, I, I'm not really a chrome guy, but I like the chrome look of my truck. That's the chrome uh, OEM version. Here's the chrome aftermarket version. You know, a, a pretty cool look. It definitely looks nice, no doubt about that. Um, but I'm really gonna love the way the RAM looks. I plan on implementing them right here in the center portion. I've already um, pre-fitted them in a sense, you know, kind of just set them in place. And I love the way they look. They fit super nice and it's gonna give you a nice, big, bulky RAM. So that's gonna look really, really cool. Um, so now you can see what I'll uh, be mounting them on. What we're gonna have to do is first is take off the grill. So I'm gonna take off my grill here and then I'm going to retrofit them in a sense in place, kind of line them up and I'll show you what I'll be doing in that part. Okay guys, so now you got your grill off here. We're gonna be working outside in the beautiful outdoors. You can retrofit your letters in a sense, kind of just put them in, see where you're gonna go. What I noticed with this is, is this grill here has some nice grooves that I can drop my letters down in and you can go one of two ways i think what i'm going to do is probably go through the bottom and well the this slot here that way it'll allow my letters to set nicely and not get damaged or crunched in a sense behind this grill piece here so just dropping those down like that one at a time the cool part is too is the uh, wires and everything will almost hold themselves in place but just dropping down, you already see what I'm building here. Right there like that. 
kind of get a wacky little setup. So now you can arrange your letters in a nice clean fashion. And what I really like is that it almost only maxes you out at a certain level so you can't really be crooked or crazy in a sense so that's pretty cool but once you get them like kind of where you want them and you see like hey i want them in this space here and i i think the space looks really good it gives an even proportion throughout both and when you lift up it really evens it out nicely and just makes that look really really clean you can start mounting so like i showed on the back there those were those screw holes in the pack you get a nice little assortment of all these um holders here with the screws itself too i'm going to set these into a tray so i don't lose them in the grass and then we'll get one lined up and show you what i did okay guys so i got the r mounted and if you're an observant person like me you can tell that the sunlight has changed significantly uh it's because i ran into a couple snags uh in this grill here um the way i have it um well, the way I'm going to mount it, I should say. Uh, I dealt with some spacing issues with the letters and the screws that were supplied. So from my perspective, if this chrome wasn't there, um, the screws that were supplied would work perfectly. Um, and would actually probably even give it a cleaner look, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know, we'll see how I ride with this and we'll see what I do if I do ultimately end up taking the chrome out or, or what, I, I don't know. I like the look and I have it evenly gapped up top to bottom. You'll see more of that, but to show you here. So what you're supplied with is this right here, a screw and pretty much like a spacer slash washer to kind of like hold this, the letter in place on the back. What I ended up having to do was go to the store and pick up these right here. Went to Lowe's. That's the size. If you want to mark it, number eight, you know, one and a quarter inch. And that's what I got there. So why I did that was because the gap that was in between the back was too short for these. So I picked these up. One inch would have been probably better, and I'll show you why. But I picked these up to really aid in the mounting because if I didn't, I don't know how I would have mounted this. So let me flip this around and kind of show you what I did. So real quick, as you can see there, I did three. Now the reason I did three, um, I really didn't actually. I did four. If I zoom in and show you. You can see there's four, but two is doubled. Um, the reason I did that was because where that came down at, it was the ending piece of the chrome. So it caused me to have too much length on the screw. That's why I really say one inch would have been fantastic. Um, so I just doubled there. There's four for each letter and you know durability and sturdiness wise, that double up and those two is plenty and it's holding it in just fine. So that's what I had to do, go ahead with the with the R, I, and I'm probably gonna have to do it with the M because it's gonna end in that offside as well. Um, but just to show you what I did there, and that's kind of like more of a gist of what you're going to be doing to mount these. I'm gonna go ahead and mount the A and the M up, and then I'm gonna make sure they're all spaced out evenly. I'm gonna show you that finished portion, and um, then we'll get into the wiring aspect of it. All right, guys, so be ready to be here for at least 30 minutes to do this because this is something that is going to take a lot of uh, patience and precision. I'm not an artist by any means, but you see my final product here. I have all these mounted. I use all the black retaining um, washer or um, holder screw holes, whatever you want to call them. I used all of them. I doubled up on the A's and the M. And um, I only used three on the R. I used, well, I used three holes per se on the R. I used two on one and then uh, singles on the other. The A and the M, I both use doubles, uh, diagonal from each other. And everything is held in very, very secure. Um, everything was hand cranked. I'll show you the back here in a second. Hand cranked uh, with, a, with a hand screwdriver. Did not use machine tools. You guys are threading into plastic here. That's very, very important to make sure you use your hand and use some sense while you're twisting. You know, if it's feeling taut and tight, maybe a little bit more and that's it. You know, do the wiggle test. You gotta remember, things aren't really gonna be coming here and pulling these down. I go through a car wash all the time and um, those those uh, bristles or whatever you wanna call it will really not be doing any bit of extremities to be pulling these down. 
So I'm really confident in how snug these are. Um, I like the look. I think it came out really well. Uh, we'll see it better when it's lit up and on the truck and everything. And I'll, you know, we'll see how much of proportionate it really was. But it came out really nice uh, here. If I just show you from the top here, you can see very small gap on the R. A is pretty flush. M is pretty flush. But all in all, I think it looks nice. If I just spin it around here. You can see too where I mounted and how I mounted. That's exactly how I did it, guys. It looks really good, um, per se. When you, you know, and you can even like twist these a little bit too, to kind of make it to where you really can't see. But I love how you can't even see these plastic covers here from the other side. It's super awesome. I mean, maybe if you're really, really picky and you look through, but I don't even know if you would. And you're not even going to be doing that, looking at all the wires or at the letters, but to show what i was talking about earlier about how you can just twist those off look at that so if you ever needed to take your grill off guys you would literally just twist and pull these off and you'll know more about that once we get to the wiring part here but now you got this part down and to be quite honest with you guys this was the hardest part um wiring is going to be super easy you won't even believe how quick we get through that just that mounting portion you know free mounting it, it's tough it can be really tough especially if you don't have the tools or the access to go get these screws I will say if you're using this grill here, this style, you are probably going to need those longer screws. And if you were looking at my back end there and you were wondering, hey, like, do I need to put it that way? Um, I, I wouldn't say yes to that. I would say, you know, have your own idea of it. You're probably not gonna get the exact, exact spot that I got mine. You might even have wanted yours wider. Um, it really, really is up to you, really, truly. So play around with it. You guys see what I did. You get the concept of how I did that. Um, you know, not hard by any means, just really tedious, just really like time consuming and making sure that everything is nice and square and even and it looks good. And I'll be honest with you, it's probably not even as even as it could be. And I'll probably be looking at this and tweak this even a little more. So, but again, this is all you, this is all your skill on this part. Now that we have this done though, let's go ahead and jump into the wiring portion. Okay guys, so if you're connecting in your wires, cause what we're gonna do is connect in our wires now and then go get our grill attached, kind of attached, uh, get it set there and then get our wires looped up through. And then you can actually pretty much attach the grill totally. And we'll have our wires looped through and And uh, we'll find out where we're going to connect. But just to show you, there's two arrows that tell you exactly how to get it in. You just push it snug and take your little cap here, push your cap down, and then twist it on. So right when I'm about to clip my uh, grill in, guys, I want to show you. What I did was I got all my wires here. I kind of pulled them taut, and I zip-tied them in just so to kind of they're bunched together so they're not just dangling back there. Uh, totally optional, but I did that just so when you come to look through it, you're not going to see a mess of wires like all individually dangling. Um, I'll clean those up a little bit tighter. And then to show you where I ran through to get my power out here to where we're going to connect in, I just ran through that little spot that the OEM wires are already at. And it fit nice and tight right through. And it just gives it a clean look so you don't have to... Uh, worry about things being there dangling and it just all in all is a good protectant because this is your radiator and obviously with this being over here this is going to keep it a lot cooler and away from the heat that you're going to be emitting straight off your engine so just a little tip i'm gonna go ahead and get this attached and then show you what's next all right guys so i have my grill completely put up my wires tucked up ran through that spot 
and then they ran through here underneath this bracket and then what I did for my ground was I tied my ground into the massive ground that's already for your fuse box and for the power I'm going again with the DRL setup so when I turn my ignition on these lights will power on no matter if my headlights are on or not so that's the setup I'm going for um, so what I'll be what I'll be tapping into is the F93 fuse. It's a 20 amp fuse right there. They make these things. They're called fuse taps, as you see right here. I don't have the proper sizing for my fuse box. Um, so these are a very, very small fuse. So what I'll be doing is just a, I guess, this type of way of tapping in. What I did was is I'll pull the fuse out to show you. So I have my fuse here and I wrap my wire. I cut off the the one tip that it had and I just wrap my wire around one of the pegs of the fuse and I push it right back into the slot and I'll show you what that looks like. So as you can see right there guys, I have it wrapped around my fuse. I'm just gonna put it back into its spot, which is right here. And it's probably easier if you use your fingers, but push it in there. It's nice and pushed in and taut. And then I'll just have my wire and you can make a little slot for it along the side so when you close your box it doesn't kink it up and now what you can do is test so by testing all you'd have to do is just go ahead and go to the ignition and turn it on and i'll show you what i do okay so to test it now i'm over here at the truck i'm just going to turn my ignition to the on so i'm going to push my uh start button like two two times here I'm not going to actually turn the truck on because i know it will work if it lights up with the ignition Again, this is the cigarette lighter fuse. So we're gonna push our ignition button. And as you can see, it's lit up. I'm gonna close my door. Okay, so now the truck's in the off position and it's still lit up. What I'm gonna do is open the door and when you open the door, it's gonna cut all power to this fuse, which is initially shutting down the power to it. So you will be able to use this light when the vehicle is running. So I'm gonna open the door and it turns off. All right guys, so obviously I have it connected to my fuse here um, and I showed you how to do that, but I wanted to showcase just how bright these really are. Um, if you see, I'm in a garage with four, I wanna say 16 or 12,000 lumen LED strips. And I mean, it's bright in here. To the camera, I don't know if you can really tell how much light this thing is emitting. Let me just drop those lights. Look at that, guys. Look at that. I mean, for a DRL, this is sick. This is some of the most high quality lighting I have ever seen. And for this product to be $50, for these lights to be 50 bucks, this is extremely bright. I mean, extreme. It looks so freaking good. I love it so much. I'm so excited to run this. You know why? Because when you're at night, I already have bright headlights, bright fogs. This is just going to showcase and look so clean. I, I'm absolutely pleased, 100%. I cannot be more pleased with the lighting. I just cannot. I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> I love it. So let's go ahead and um, finish wrapping everything up. Okay, guys. So you got everything ran. Everything's looking nice, neat, clean. You are all ready to close it down now. extra oomph in there and there it is that is the final product and it looks so freaking clean so truly this product can be displayed on any setup you really have i had that set up and it would have been not really my go-to to put that anywhere i do think you're gonna need at least an empty grill with no you know ram logo already on it um but this style here this style grill whether it be white or chrome or black um or if you had it painted or something like that i think it'll look good no matter what you do i've always been a big fan of the ram words compared to the head itself i i, I just love it so much i'm super excited um it looks great in the light but what i'm gonna do now is cut to some night shots of it guys um i'm gonna say i hope you enjoyed 
Remember, link down below. Please check it out. I hope this video will help you install it. And uh, if you guys have any other options or places that you will put yours or maybe any tips that you might have for me or just telling me how you like the video, please comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, a true shout out to these guys that are selling this product, creating this product. Absolutely great design. Love the way it looks. Love the lighting output. Just so much quality put into this. And for the price, I will say it is a moderate mod. You can't beat it, guys. I love it. I hope you enjoy the night shots. And until the next one, peace.